Hi, I'm Steven. And I'm Katie. From pdq.com, and we're here for another bootcamp video. Today, we're going to talk about deploying a package. Yep, nice, so simple, easy. Yep. Pick a package out of the package library and send it off to your machines. Yep. So, uh, have deploy open here. So, if you, if you just installed, uh, you open it up, this is the screen you'll be presented with. We're going to go straight to the package library right here, which contains a list of all the pre-built packages that we've published. Yep. If you've got a trial key, you'll see all of these packages. If you're working in free mode, you'll see some of these packages. That's mm -hmm. a good portion of them do require a license. But uh, and in there, we're going to use the search box because mm -hmm. I don't feel like scrolling today. And we're going to look for Chrome. One of our most popular packages, yeah. very popular program. So I'm going to select it and download it. Yep. This will download the most current version of the package in the package library. If for whatever reason you need an older version, we keep a couple of those. And you'll find those on the bottom right-hand corner with the package details. So we have lots of versions of Chrome at the moment. But now we have the most recent one right here. OK, it's finished downloading. So to deploy it out for our uh, target machines, we're going to have it selected. And then we're going to do deploy once right here. This will bring up a window. And from this window, we're going to select the targets that we're going to deploy to. Yeah, so you can, uh, you can type your computer names in if you feel like you really want to. We're going to use one of the other options and pick the machines, which is really great if you've got lots of machines, so you don't mm -hmm. have to type them all in because who does that anymore? Mm -hmm. You can choose directly from Active Directory, uh, uh, sorry, Active Directory, if you have it synced. You can put in a text file with a list of host names. You can go browse out to your Spiceworks server if you've got one of those kicking around on your network. Uh, we're just going to pop into inventory. You can deploy two whole collections of machines if you've got any of those set up, or if you use any of the collection library collections. Mm -hmm. You can just pick your targets. I'm going to search again, so I don't have to scroll. Send it off to Plumbus. You can pick all of your machines or one of your machines. So we've got our machine here that needs Chrome. Shows up in the list. Mm -hmm. We're ready to go. Yeah, let's send it out. Go. So one cool thing that I really like about Deploy is that it's really um, transparent with what's what it's doing. So you see the status here. It's copying files. You can see that there's different steps in the deployment. You can watch each of the steps as it goes. We're on step two. It'll tell you what ran previously. Uh, some of the packages in the package library have multiple steps that apply to sync, uh, certain architectures. Chrome mm -hmm. is one of those where 64-bit mm -hmm. uh, Chrome goes to 64-bit machines and 32-bit Chrome goes to 32-bit machines. So. Not every step will run every time. Nothing to be afraid of. Good. So the install already finished. Yep. If you want to check up on what happened during the deployment, you can look at the output log. Output logs are a great thing if you're working on deploying a package and it's not working properly mm -hmm. and you know, you're know you hitting us up for support. Mm -hmm. We love output logs, and that's right where you'll find them. And they're really helpful for, for to you if you're just trying to de troubleshoot, debug, whatever. It gives you all the information about what it's doing. Yeah. So. We have our that's it. it's wonderful done. deployment. Chrome has been deployed and is ready to go for all your other machines. Very easy, very quick. So that's very it. Good. That's all we got. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.